Welcome to The Determined Mom Show, the only marketing podcast dedicated to guiding mom CEOs into tranquility, wealth, and multiplying those precious moments. Welcome to this episode of The Determined Mom Show. I have with me today, Christy Murray, who is a functional nutrition and wellness consultant with Blue Veil Wellness. So welcome, Christy. Hi, Amanda. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm very excited to talk about this because we all know, especially in the United States, that there is so much stuff in our food and so much stuff in our environment that is toxic to us. However, we just basically ignore that and kind of move on and hope that we're getting the least exposure to it, which is pretty much the American way of doing things. Um, but we're going to talk today about how to remove toxins from your body to keep you and your future generations healthy. So before we get into that, I would love for you to introduce yourself to the audience and tell them about Blue Veil Wellness and about yourself and all of the things I already know because she was a guest on the, or a speaker at the Business Mom Summit in 2020. So i um, very excited to have her there and also having you back here today. Thank you. I'm really excited. Um, like you said, kind of the way of life has been, you know, what's easy, what's convenient. And it's not until someone encounters a challenge in life that a person starts digging into what's wrong, what's wrong, what, what, what am I doing wrong? What can I do? I feel like people go into stages at first, you know, you ask what's wrong and then you find out what's wrong. And then it actually is a while until someone decides, okay, it's time for me to do something about it. For me, my turning point is what I discovered that something was wrong was, I want to say 15, almost 15, 20 years ago when I started um, my journey to having a family. Mm -hmm. Everything, you know, going on with my life, everything was normal, nothing was wrong. And so I thought until, why am I not getting pregnant? It was taking a while. Yeah. So then that's when I started my investigation into things. I started doing my own research, seeing different specialists, and then I... Until I got all that information, I put everything together and then I had decided, well, I'm not just going to depend on what people tell me, I'm not going to just depend on medications. It is a good thing, but I believe we have our responsibility to keep ourselves healthy, keep our bodies, our vessel ready for either conception or just time for longevity. And one of those things that I, that I, found out was a lot of like heavy metals and toxins for that we're just absorbing whether we you know we're doing it on purpose or, or not because the products that we use in our everyday life is just there like we use lotions every day we use soap every day shampoo deodorant conditioner dishwashing soap all those things if you're not mindful of it there you're actually doing more harm than good to your body Wow. It's crazy. When you think, when you just mentioned all of those things, those weren't even things that were like on my radar of like thinking about, like you said, dish soap and yeah, I wasn't even thinking about those. And I'm sure our listeners were not either. So. Yeah. So, um, so that was, like I said, 15, almost 20 years ago. And then I went on to studies, went to nursing school and got my master's in nursing. Then I took like my passion, just started building up into, okay. Now I'm a provider, I'm like treating patients in, in clinic, but at the same time, I feel like I need to make a bigger impact to where just making people aware of what's going on so they can have the knowledge to take matters in their own hands and take charge of their health. So then that's when I decided to get some more certifications in functional nutrition and um, functional health coaching, and I started Blue Veil Wellness. That's awesome. So what exactly is functional nutrition and functional health coaching for people like me that aren't really sure exactly what that means. Functional nutrition is, it's a new science. Um, there's functional medicine and what it is, is going to the root cause of what's going on. You know, um, in someone saying, well, I can't sleep. I have a hard time sleeping instead of just, okay, here's some things for you to sleep better. You we go deeper into finding out, well, why are you not sleeping good? Yeah. Is it your food is, you know, how's your lifestyle? How is your diet? So that's functional medicine in itself. And then when you go into functional nutrition, we zero in 
on the foods that you eat. That um, makes sense. Are you, are you allergic to what you're eating, even though it's healthy for everyone else, but it's not really fine for you and it's actually hurting you, but then you're thinking it's healthy. Yeah, that makes complete sense. I love that definition. And I kind of wish that all doctors were functional doctors, because that really seems like the most logical way to approach medical issues. But I know that that's not how things are (laughs) just like (laughs) we should have toxin free products, but that's not how things are. So we have to kind of advocate and choose the right people like you and choose the right products. Like I'm sure you're going to go over with us today. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. So like the biggest change that one can make is really just looking if we start in our kitchen look at the products or the storage products that you're using are you storing your um your food in plastic containers Mm -hmm. i feel like the biggest or the most famous chemical right now is bpa because everything is becoming um being advertised as bpa free phthalate free they're two different chemicals. One is it, it's added into plastic to make it more um, flexible and mm-hmm. pliable, which is really convenient for us because that's what we want. It's light and it's flexible. Um, but at the same time, once heated up, whether you put it, your food in the microwave or after you cook something and you place it in those plastic containers, um, those chemicals start leaching into the food. Wow. And you don't see them because, I mean, they're little, really minute chemicals. And all you see is the food that, hey, you're hungry, I'm gonna eat right now from yeah. this container. Those chemicals that are then mixed in with your food, they get into your system and you don't notice it right away because most of the effects are what we call bioaccumulative. In small amounts, they're not really doing much, but then as time goes on, those products add up in your system and they, they damage your endocrine system. Mm-hmm. It's like they mimic your hormones to where the real um, receptors are not connecting with um, what's supposed to be connected. So, and I, the example that I like to tell people is it's like a lock and key. If you think of a doorknob and you have a set of keys and you don't know what key opens it, some keys might really fit and you're thinking, okay, that's it but then it, you turn it and it doesn't, it doesn't open the door. Yeah. So those are what the endocrine disruptor does. They fit perfectly, but they don't unlock it. So then mm. your hormones don't work properly. Wow. That's crazy. So what about the BPA free plastics? Are they actually BPA free? Or are they like, is there like a percentage, like caffeine free coffee where it's like 0.999? Yeah. I don't know exactly the percentage, but there are some that um, you just look at the numbers. If you flip, I should have brought a container here to show you. Mm -hmm. If you flip over the container, you see that triangle at the bottom um, with like arrows that form a triangle and then there's a number in the middle. So um, that's how they label like the the plastic or the chemical content. So five, four, and two are the, you know, safer ones as of now until more research comes out. Okay. And then... Anything outside of those numbers are bad for you. So just a little nursery rhyme, five, four, and two, the rest are bad for you. Ooh, I love it. I'm going to go as soon as we're done this and hire my children to scour all of the plastics in our house. (laughs) There you go. I love it. Awesome. So other than plastics, Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned like laundry detergent, dish Mm -hmm. detergent, um, you know, I'm sure food, obviously with pesticides and all of those yeah. things are some of them. Mm-hmm. What can we do to eliminate those things? So going, so now coming from the kitchen, let's pretend you go into the bathroom after you just made food and you want to take a shower. Look at your lotions and your products. Look at the ingredients. If you're, there's a big list of chemicals that most of them you can't pronounce. If it has a really strong scent potential allergen, potential, you know, triggers um, sensitivity issues. And phthalate, P, if I can spell it right, P-T-H-A-T-H-L-A-T-E-S, so phthalate. Those are the big ones that you look, um, if you turn over and look at the, the ingredient label. Okay. Um, so phthalate pre, 
talent free and paraben free are the ones that you want. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. And we're actually, it's kind of funny that we're having this conversation because in our household right now, we're kind of in this discovery mode with our four-year-old who has extremely bad eczema and we're trying to figure out what in the heck she's allergic to. And it seems to be a lot of certain fruits like kiwi, strawberry, um, you know, all of the really yummy fruits, which is really unfortunate for her, especially being four and loving everything. But I'm kind of curious about all of those things and how not just, I mean, I'm sure I know strawberries are one of those things that you should really only eat organic strawberries. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Because like the skin is exposed something and it can go through the skin. I don't know. Yeah, so if you go to ewg.org, it's environmentalworkinggroup.org, they have a list of um, the Dirty Dozen. And the Dirty Dozen's purpose is, it's the top 12 fruits that have a lot of chemicals in it. So if you have a choice of buying something organic versus not organic, so choose the one that's at the bottom of the list. So bananas are okay not to buy organic because you peel off the skin. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. So like strawberries and I believe blueberries are in there. You eat the skin. So those are the ones that, okay, I'm not going to buy organic bananas, but I am going to buy organic blueberries and organic strawberries. That makes sense. What about oranges? Oranges, you're not eating the peel. Mm -hmm. Um, So they they might be lower on the list of the ones that you, you can avoid. Okay. Awesome. Very cool. That's awesome. I'm, I am going to have that resource in the show notes for you. So then that way you can easily grab that and tell us more. I know there's yes. so much, so much there's to so cover. Much. I know. Um, so that's with foods. And so then we move on to how your body processes food, right? Um, especially, you know, your liver has to be in good working order. Because even if you are eating all these clean or clean ingredients and clean products, if your body is, if your liver is stagnant and it's not working properly, not detoxing properly, all that is just in your system. Wow. And one way of making sure that your liver is, um, is working properly is eat a lot of cruciferous vegetables, a lot of fiber. Mm-hmm. Like broccoli, um, cauliflower? Yes. yes. Exactly. Okay. I'm like, Um, I think I remember what that means, but I'm not sure. Yeah. And um, of course, no least amount of alcohol that you can tolerate. Mm -hmm. And of course, proper hydration with water. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah. I'm a firm believer that if you just take out the bad stuff and then you put in the good stuff, you know, you, a person can pretty much look at food as the solution first versus reaching for a pill. Mm -hmm. I have a question because this seems like something that you would be well-versed on. And it's something that's come up over the years um, about the alkalinity of water. Like when you're drinking water, should it, it should be more alkaline. Is that my understanding of it? Or is that a myth or is it just the people that want to sell you the water filter? I'm not sure. Those are all the questions that I have (laughs) all wrapped up into one. (laughs) Unfortunately, I have not I have not like turned my attention to water because being in Alaska, I just I yeah. pretty much have gotten complacent that we have good water. <laughs> yeah. That's probably the best water in the entire country. So yes, yes. yes. Awesome. Uh, yeah. I will do the research for you and I'll get back to you. <laughs> okay. That sounds great. Yeah. It's one of those things that I'm like, okay, do I really need one of those fancy water filters that are like thousand dollars or is it like, okay, I just add lemon to my water and like, I know that's like a natural way to do it, but just kind of curious about that. But yeah. Now you have me curious too. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, a, hmm, I wonder. We're talking kind of about what we can do to set our families up, make sure we're doing things for our children and to kind of keep them healthy. So is it like building those habits and kind of making them aware of things as they're growing up? that is going to help them or just kind of trying not to expose them when they're at a certain developing age, which one of those is kind of more important? Um, Well, I feel like removing exposure as they're developing. So then 
they're in a proper mindset and the habits start right there. So you're not kind of scurrying to, sh to make some shifts because if that's what they grew up, if they know that um, we use fragrance-free detergent and we don't use fabric softeners at our home. We use wool balls with essential oils or some people use vinegar as a fabric softener. It's for, for them, it's like, okay, that's what we grew up in, that's our norm. And they won't even think of anything else versus, because like me, it made, for me, it's a big shift because I like, I like good smelling products. I love yeah. my fabric softener. That's, that's exactly that. what's going through my mind as you're going through this. I love gain. So I love, yeah. I have like the, what is it? The midnight something or other. I don't know what it is, but I shouldn't be using that is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> So what do you I, use? I actually, so I use um, fragrance-free um, fragrance free detergent. I mm -hmm. um, actually use Pure Haven. And I tried to make my own um, detergent because I saw diaper my kids. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I, I still like this, um, the foamy and the sun. So I, I found a company that makes that yeah. um, the detergent that I want. And then as far as for fabric softener, I like, I, I saw you smile when I said wool balls. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I have a set of like three wool balls and it actually helps cut down on the drying time mm -hmm. because it's the ball. And as they tumble around in the dryer, it provides more space. So, um, provide more aeration in the dryer. That's and awesome. The, the wool is a natural and antimicrobial. And I learned this when I was cloth diapering my kids. A lot of outer layer um, of the cloth diaper is wool because it's it's natural antibacterial and antimicrobial, and you don't have to wash them as much. You just let them air dry. Oh. Um, and then so then that was working, and I missed the smell. I'm very yeah. like my sense of smell is very strong. I did more research, and yeah, essential oils. You just put those essential oils, whatever smell you want, put it in the wool balls and throw them in the dryer. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, coming up, uh, where to get these things? Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so wool balls, you can get them anywhere, I guess. Yeah, pretty much anywhere. If you, um, if you, I mean, pretty much you can get anything from Amazon nowadays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah, so the wool balls, um, there's a lot of organic and natural companies that make them. Um, and yeah, essential oils, whatever company you trust. Mm -hmm. Do you have a particular um, one that you like? I'm partial to Young Living. Okay. Because they, they call it seed to seal. So they have their own farms and they harvest their own leaves and flowers and they distill them on their own. They don't buy it and then repackage everything yeah so like not outsource basically mm -hmm. yeah. yeah okay and then for detergent like I said I use pure haven and they also have like these um like cleansing cleaning products as well that I'm comfortable because my kids are getting older older now and some people ask me like hey do you have a housekeeper I'm like no I train my kids to to learn to clean yeah exactly and, and I'm confident in that because the products that I give them to use in the bathroom, it doesn't hurt them. Yeah. My oldest, my oldest has asthma. So I have to be really careful for the strong, the strong scented products. And yeah, no Clorox stuff. bleach spray. Exactly. <laughs> that, stuff, that stuff is killer. Yeah, exactly. No, and I'm sure, you know, you can find um, recipes that you can DIY your own ingredients. There's like certain portions of vinegar, tea tree oil or something. I um, mean, I have tried that as life got busy. I like, I found a company that I just trust and I just, I just use them. And awesome. Just, and that's the safe haven as well, or the pure haven, um, the pure haven. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah. So we'll include all of those links in the show notes. So then that way, if you're trying to find those things, then it's easily accessible as you listen to this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just, just do those things slowly. It can get overwhelming to make all these changes because they're all they're pretty much they're everywhere um yeah. you know the couch it's sprayed with fire retardant spray it's also a chemical that can leach into your system um and we you know we can't live in a tent or well, some people do yeah we can't live in a silo um so just you know 
reduce the exposure as much as you can if you can start with the containers and then move on to the laundry and then you know then you start looking into your own personal care products yeah that sounds like a great path do you have any guides or anything that will help us to kind of walk this you know walk into this kind of process i feel like it's definitely not a an overnight thing like you can't just throw everything out right but you kind of like you said just adding different things in and replacing and those kind of things and evaluating what you're doing right now to see if uh-huh. it's good bad so do you have anything that you can share with us that is going to help us along that way yes definitely i do have um an ebook called it's 52 weeks so um really it sounds overwhelming but it's just designed not to because you're supposed to just make one change a week Mm -hmm. that sounds doable and you know yeah that sounds totally doable so yeah so people can i don't have it set up as as a giveaway but if people email me christy at bluevalewellness.com i'd be happy to give you the link to the ebook so then you can be on your way to to just make slow changes, then it's more sustainable for you. Awesome. And where can we get the ebook if we want to purchase it? Um, I, I can send you the link. Um, okay. Um, I do apologize that I don't have that. Set up oh, that's right okay. Yeah, you can just email, email it to me. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That sounds great. And I know you also have a freebie for those who are looking to enhance their fertility. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so I have um, a freebie, a gift for everyone. It's called Fertility Boosting Foods. So you can just type fertilityboostingfoods.com and you'll get this document that focuses on three systems in or help will help you focus on three systems in your body that you can start working towards and then like some foods that you can concentrate on to get you on your way. That's awesome. I'm sure that there are some that I probably need to eliminate right now, like sugar and all of those ones that we know we shouldn't be eating already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's just hard, you know, like that's just the hard thing, but yeah. It is. It's hard. It's, you know, some people say, well, I don't have the willpower, but then sometimes it's not really even about willpower. It's really what your system is used to. And no matter how strong your willpower is, mm-hmm. It's yeah. like your, your body craves it. And so you have to target that craving. Why are you craving it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very interesting. I love it. And that's why we need someone like you that is a functional nutritionist to figure that out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So do you offer any coaching, consulting, anything like that for someone who's listening and they're either, you know, in that space where they do want to take that journey to being toxin free in their household or, you know, they're kind of trying to become pregnant or they're trying to prepare their body for pregnancy, or maybe they already are, and they want to make sure they're on the right path nutritionally. Mm -hmm. I do. I do have a six week program. Um, so every week it's designed to target every, um, like different areas of your life. The first one is of course, we're going to look at the toxins that you're using. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll give you a list of chemicals that you should go look for and then eliminate and then the you know then we talk about your sleep we talk about going Mm plant-based and i understand that people are not you know like not totally wanting to give up meat and it's okay and i'm actually one of them Mm -hmm. Um, but just the simple reduction of of what you eat and then just focusing on the organic foods and then what's more plant-based you know, can definitely research has shown that some of it actually reverses diabetes and then helps with cardiovascular issues. That's awesome. So sleep and then exercise. Um, so yeah, I feel like six weeks is a good enough program for people to get a jump start mm-hmm. on changes. And it's a, it's designed to be a group program. So just um give me a call if you have any questions or people want to talk about it or send me an email, Christy at bluebellwellness.com and then we can chat. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here, Christy, and sharing all of this amazingness with us. We have not had anybody on the show yet talking about toxins and being toxin free. So I'm really glad that you are here to share this with us and kind of be that catalyst in our lives to get us onto that healthier path. So thank you for being here. Well, 
thank you so much. I'm so excited. It's really one of those things that people need to be aware of. And I feel like if you start making changes, then you really would notice a difference in your health. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to the determined mom show. We appreciate you. And we would love for you to leave us a review on Apple podcasts. This will help us reach as many other moms as we can. Don't forget to download your 10 things you should be doing to get more clients from Google search guide at rebrand.ly forward slash Google 10. Google 10.